Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Tanks of Freedom. And on this episode, we are going to make a new game. Not make a new game, but start a new game. This is a game brought to you by Pix, uh, or P1X, depending on how you want to pronounce that. Uh, it's short for pixel art, by the way, guys. If you're interested, it's actually kind of a cool name. I actually like it a lot. But we're going to go ahead and hit the new game button. And we've tried... Uh, Eastern Cities, Riots, and Base Assault was the last one we played. Now, Mayday Square isn't working yet. Uh, they will fix that eventually, I'm sure. But we're going to go ahead and try Palen Peninsula. So we're going to see what that is, uh, what that entails. I don't know. We haven't played this one yet, so it's kind of interesting. Now, Top Secret Transmission, Red Player's Turn. So we are going to be the Red Player this turn. And there's going to be a few things that they are going to improve upon, which I'll talk about during the episode. Uh, before I do that, I am going to take over... Uh, this little tower right here. This is actually one of the things that they are thinking about improving or changing in certain ways. One, they don't want to have it where your your guy is lost when he takes it over. They just want you to have to get there and use one of your turns to do that. Uh, let's see, HQ. And I guess that's the barracks, so let's move this guy over here and take over the barracks. The barracks is also something they're hoping to improve upon. If you look at the HQ, it costs 8 coins to get 1. You look at the barracks, it costs 6 coins to get 1. They didn't really want it to be that way. Uh, they they kind of want it so that the barracks will give you 2 for the price of 1, whereas the HQ uh, will still give you the same thing for its uh, regular price. And the reason behind that is... I'm guessing is it uh, promotes you to get the barracks. I mean, there's really no other reason at this point. If you think about it, if you look at this, eight coins versus six, well, yeah, six coins is cheaper, but it will take you two coins, three, four coins just to get along the road to where this is. So ultimately, this would actually be cheaper considering the travel time, which is kind of a unique way to look at it. But when they add it where you get two guys out of that for the price of one, that's dramatically going to make it just that much better for you to get this thing. So that's going to be cool as well. We're going to go ahead and end our turn. Now, you can see the, the coins counting down. That's the enemy's turn. It's a little bug. They're going to fix it. Uh, as I said, this is a game in development, so there's going to be a few bugs here and there. I think it's kind of exciting to check out and see where the game is at the moment and where it's going to be in the future. Uh, and you can kind of watch it progress, which is a really, really cool thing that you don't normally get to do very often uh, with video games. So we're going to go ahead and end that turn. We're going to build up a small little force behind us. Here he goes. He's doing his turn. Can't see what he's doing, but I heard a helicopter. And there it is right there. I believe helicopters are weak against people and strong against tanks. So I am going to get my tank out of here. And he's going to have to go on the grass. Oh, there's some buildings over here. I wonder if that's just a town or what. We're going to move up, and we're going to attack. Now, they're also going to change the way this looks. Uh, they're going to show you on the map uh, in the squares where your turn or where your, your guy can move in that turn and who he can attack in that turn. And it's going to be kind of cool. I've seen the, uh, the screenshots of it. It's on here. In fact, I'll link it on this, uh, this video so you guys can go check it out if you're interested in that. Uh, it's definitely... Uh, headed in a very good direction, at least from my part. I think it's going to look uh, incredibly cool when it's finally done. Oh, wow. So they didn't kill my guy. Nice. So let's see. If he attacks, he probably will die. Yeah, he died. But we can attack with this, and he wins. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to leave him there, and I am going to buy some more units. Move them up. It's kind of one of those things where y you need... A certain number. We're going to move this guy up. He's almost dead, but I'm going to make him go off and explore a little bit every turn that I have a few coins left. Now, he's constantly building up his force. You're constantly building up yours. If you don't move uh, and take more ground, you're going to lose this game, or you're just going to have a stalemate, and that's not going to be very much fun for you or for really, really anybody else if you're playing multiplayer, which I really think is where this game is going to shine. Uh, on like the iOS system and things of that sort because it, it really will be a whole lot of fun uh, playing this game. So if I attack him, he'll attack back and I'll take damage and he'll take damage and then on his turn, he will defeat me. So if I leave him alone, uh, he will attack me, I will attack back and then on my turn, I can destroy him. Which I think I'm going to do because I want that guy, even if he's damaged, to go off and explore. <laughs> and I'm barely holding my own at this moment. He must have quite a few barracks over here. 
probably a lot of little buildings that allow him to get more coin. He's running off, which leads me to believe there's something over here of interest that he wants to get. So we're going to come over here again. I'm going to leave him alone, let him do his own little thing. Because if he does take over a building over here, I want to be right behind him to take it back. Which is kind of why I would like these buildings to be able to be, uh, you know, fought from within. You know, almost like fortified so that... Um, one short, that sucks. Uh, yeah, fortified so that when you do take it over, another enemy can't just run right behind you and quite literally take it back without having to fight you. I mean, that, that kind of sucks that you put in all that effort and then lose it. Oh, there's a tank manufacturer here. Okay, so he is attacking. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and finish this guy off. Nice. And we're going to head over here. What is here? So that is... What is that? Is that a barracks? I think that's a... No, that's not a barracks. Oh, that's a helicopter place. So we are going to take that sucker over as soon as we can. Now I am going to get this up here. I kind of want to take this over. But at the same token, I don't because if I don't have anybody over here to protect him, uh, I can lose it almost immediately. And so I am going to wait one turn. Now he could... He can always produce something from there uh, if there's nothing around it. Uh, there's an empty square behind, so I think he can produce and have it come out from behind the base if it's still the way it used to be. Uh, this guy is now protecting that base, so I'm not too worried now. How much is this? We're going to go ahead and make one tank for extra security. We're going to go ahead and move this guy one closer. Oh, crap. There's a helicopter there already. He's probably going to kill my guy. We'll see here in a second. Now, I don't believe tanks or helicopters can take over buildings. Only little troops. I don't know if they're going to change that in the future or if that's how they want it. Makes sense. You know, if you got somebody on the ground, they could take over a building. But how can a helicopter take over a building? Intimidate it, destroy it maybe, but take it over? Doesn't really make that much sense there. So we will end our turn because I want as many coins as I can so I can build that helicopter. Maybe even two helicopters if I have enough. But I don't think I will. I think I'll only have enough for one. Now, the only Achilles heel, again, to helicopters is the uh, the tanks. So, or not tanks, to the troops. And he doesn't have any troops over here that I can see. Oh, there's a little tower. I'm going to definitely take that tower over. Let's let's head over here. For those of you who are not familiar with my play style, I tend to try to take everything over on the map, whether it's needed or not, simply because I'm that kind of guy who just wants to have everything he can possibly have and have all that advantage he can possibly have. Oh, great, there's a guy coming over here. I am going to make another one of these. Can I not make another one? Ooh, I have... Is there a limit? Or can I not do it because my helicopter's in the way? Let's move my helicopter out of the way and try it again. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it does only come out of one side of the building. That's cool. They changed that. And that's a nice little, nice little feature that they put back on there. So I like that. Took the equal amount of damage. Let's move up. Uh, I kind of don't want to attack the guy, but then at the same time, I kind of have to. The only bad thing about this, if I attack the guy and he goes inside this building, I just took a hit for nothing. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kill the helicopter or try to kill the helicopter, I should say. And hopefully, he goes inside that building and my guy can take it over in just half a second here. Let's see, does he do it? Ooh, some tanks coming. Some extra guys coming. Holy crap, what was that? Did he did he destroy himself on my tank? Or my helicopter? I think he did. I think he he sacrificed himself and, and went ahead and did it. Um You know we have to bite the bull. We have to attack this guy because we need him dead so that my troop can come over here. And I need to move some of these helicopters out of the way. They're stuck. Can I move this guy? I guess once he attacks he can't move, huh? What about this guy? Can I move him over the grass? I guess that grass is too high. You think they'd be able to fly over grass, but not trees. Maybe. I don't, they should be able to fly over trees, too. That should be their advantage. Like, tanks are a little bit stronger, and they should be able to go past... Uh, but I'm out of coins. That's why I can't move. Maybe they can't go over grass. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. They're hurting me. Dang. Oh, at least they didn't get to my guy. Okay, so let's see. If I click on this guy... No, he can't go over the grass. Uh, I kind of wish they could. I kind of wish that each one of the the different vehicles would have that extra something, you know, flying over trees to make it shorter on the supply routes, uh, tanks going over grass where troops uh, may not be able to do that, uh, things of that sort. I think that would be a neat little feature. Let's see, we are going to... 
I can't make another one. Uh, you know, we're going to move forward and take this guy out. Now, the tank is probably going to move forward and take me out, which will suck because then I'll have to bring another guy all the way over here. Okay, so he did not attack. Uh, you know, it'd be nice if they were a little bit more aggressive. <laughs> and I say nice, I mean, you know, challenging because at the moment they are a little uh, too uh, easy, I guess you could say. I mean, if there was a difficulty rating, I'd probably put it on higher because it just seems like a lot of the time they have the advantage. If they, if they just pressed it, they could do some serious harm to me and, and you know, cause me to go back to square one and actually, like, recoup. Uh, from my losses and they never quite realize what they can do the potential that they have and again you know it's it's getting better all the time so i'm sure it will get there but at the moment it's it's still lacking that that ump that will this guy's so dead this helicopter i guess like one hit i'm not even gonna waste my time doing anything with that guy uh we are going to attack these troops that's so horrible to attack with the helicopter uh and they were they were so much money so let's do this. We'll build another one. And we'll move up. Because we got to protect this little thing. That's what they're coming for, I think. Uh, I really don't know what their priorities are. Like, what did they go after more than something else? Uh, it could be anything, actually. I don't know. I haven't really seen them play that aggressive for buildings or for my base. Uh, you would think... like This could be like a total chess uh, game where <laughs> I go after these little small buildings... And they're distracting me away from the main goal, which is to protect my base. And then they swoop in and checkmate, you know. But they haven't quite, in, <laughs> you know, reached the point. Holy crap. No, my helicopters. You killing them, punks? Oh, this is so sad. Okay, so this guy can kill this one. This helicopter can get one more hit before he's dead, which I guess is better than nothing. Let's move this guy back. Take this guy out. Nice, okay. And that gives me enough for one more helicopter, okay? So I'm doing pretty good here. Now they are making more money than I am because the troops that I am killing are not worth uh, nearly as much as the troops that I am building and then losing. Uh, this should kill him off. There we go. Nice, okay. So now that that is gone, I am going to move up these helicopters and explore a little bit. He is close to dying, so maybe not the greatest idea. Let's move these up so that they protect this little area. And then I will go get some more troops. Let's end that. Because if I do find anything, I can't take it over because I don't have any guys. Oh, crap. Already? Man, there's something seriously over there. Let's let's move these guys up. Let's let them work that stuff out themselves. Uh, relation issues over there that we don't need to get involved in. Uh, we will keep moving up with our tank. And we'll keep moving up with this guy. Want to keep him behind our tank, that's for sure. And I guess we will go ahead and attack. Because if they attack on the next turn, you know, the helicopter's dead anyway. So let's do that. And we don't have enough to buy another one. So we will just go ahead and... Yeah, we'll move this tank up. We'll pull it back over here. That way it gives us a good bird's eye view. Nobody's sneaking up on our base. Where are they going to go? They're running around over there. Oh, no. Dang it. You guys killed my helicopter. Destroyed my battleship. Oh, nice. Got another one of these things. Uh, actually, it's a dead end over here. I wish I had known that before I got down there with my tank. So let's see. Can this guy make it? Uh, I believe he will miss it by one. No, he got enough. Nice. So this tank is going to guard him, and I am going to make another one. There we go. Uh, one more space. I don't know if you can take these buildings over, these these structures, these towns. That'd be kind of cool if you could fortify them. I mean, you know, it's it'd be something that uh, you could only do for, like, big buildings maybe, but I still think that would be kind of a cool thing to, to be able to come over here and... Oh, great, another little dude. Oh, no, we can't attack him this turn. I keep forgetting how many turns, how many spaces you can move and then attack. So I'm looking forward to those updates, like I told you, that they're going to add. So it shows you that information, so you don't make uh, little mistakes like that that will cost you uh, your troop. But thankfully, he was a tank, and, you know, tanks rule, so <laughs> at least against people. Let's go ahead and attack this guy. Wow, he didn't attack back, which means he is dead now. And I'm going to make one more unit over here. Pull him up. 
actually, we're going to go this way so that they can all attack. Let's see, can you not move? That's right. You can't cross rivers, can you? Nice to know. That's a cool little thing. I can use the land as a... Uh... Oh, and these helicopters can't. So he already... They already put that kind of thing in there where they do have that extra, uh, you know, advantage over some terrains, just not over trees, which I guess is okay. I mean, you know, I would kind of prefer it if they could go over stuff like that, but, you know, beg you can't always have everything you want. They have a vision that they want to go with, so maybe they're not going to do that. Uh, maybe they will. Who knows? We'll, we'll find out sooner or later, but for now, you can go over rivers with helicopters, whereas tanks, and I'm guessing probably troops, uh, cannot, which we're gonna use that. We're gonna we're gonna use the river as a nice little. But then why does he keep coming over here if if troops can't cross rivers? Maybe I was just out of turns. Let's move over here. Can he go over it? Now nah, see he can go over it. So I I have no idea. But he got stuck. He did like three turns and he got stuck on the river. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe it requires a lot more movement points or like your special attack to be able to go over that river. Whereas the road is just so much quicker. And I think you get more movement points. Oh, there's a barracks. That's where they're coming from, okay. Well, if he doesn't make it this turn, chances are they're gonna build more guys out of that barracks, so he's probably toast. Let's see. Uh, it looked like they did build somebody there. I'll have to kill that guy before I can take it over. Uh, and there's two guys. Okay, well, he will attack me on the next turn and my guy will die. Let's see, can I get this tank over here now? Let's get off of the water. <laughs> and that's it, this is as far as he can go. Well, he's gonna get there eventually, just not very, very quickly. And that's the end of his turn. So let's do this. It's gonna let us save up some gold at least. No. Okay, come on, let me get in there. The only problem with doing this is, actually I'm gonna wait on this guy because if I do this, the moment I take it over, they're gonna take it right back. Actually, no, they don't have anybody left over here. My tank got here just in time. Okay, so the next turn, I can do this. Um, no helicopters. I don't need to do anything with them. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Now, I do have quite a few coins, but I'm not really taking any time to build any new troops because it will take so long for them to get here. As soon as I take over this barracks, that's where I'm going to build my new troops. So they're, they're a lot closer by, and I won't have to worry about uh, the supply line anymore. So let's do this. 40 guys, uh, not 40 guys, 40 coins. Let's get off of the grass. Stay off of the grass, kids. <laughs> Let's put this on, and we'll keep moving. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah. We're getting close to their base, guys. Getting very, very close to their base. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing a few new troops in here as well. Maybe, like, flamethrowers who could actually set the ground or certain areas on fire, causing troops damage when they move through them or something along those lines. Uh, you know, bazooka guys who will be stronger against helicopters, uh, but weak against other players. You know, there's just like an infinite number of different combinations they can do with this game. But mainly because it's a cool game. They already have the base there. Uh, all they gotta do is just sit there and think of what they wanna do with it. And I'm sure they have a very, very good idea already, so we'll find out here very soon. Uh, you know, just where this game is headed in the future. Can we we can take this over. Now that it's safe, we're gonna do that. Let's see. We're gonna take make some tanks now that we got a little bit of cash on us. Um he can't go over the grass for some reason. So we are going to wait end our turn. Oh no. Well that's a good thing I built that tank. He's already taken a little bit of damage. Let's see if I move up. Actually no I'm gonna leave that guy there. I'm gonna move my tank. Attack <laughs> you gotta love tanks and their power against guys. Now, I'm gonna sit this guy out because, again, there's not much he can do uh, once he's used his one turn to attack. So, let's build another tank. And can we move him up? There we go. And we'll wait there. Now, we are going to build another guy because, again, if you want to beat the level, it has to be a troop that touches it. And if you want to take over a building, it has to be a troop that touches it. So either way, you need a troop with you. And I, I kind of want to take over the barracks because it's going to make things a little bit easier. At the same token, I kind of don't because I believe we're really, really close to where his base is. And I may just be able to press it and get there in time. Now there's a tank here. That's going to be rough. 
Yeah, we're gonna take it over because I don't want them appearing from behind me. Oh no, that is their main base. Holy crap, we won, guys. That only took 17 minutes. That's not too bad for a level. That's actually pretty quick. So again, guys, uh, this is Tanks of Freedom. And I'll go back to the main menu so you guys can see it. Uh, CPU versus human, you can change that. You can do two CPUs, two humans. Uh, there's no multiplayer yet, but I guess you could technically sit down at the same game and play with your brother or friend and have them decide where they're going. Uh, it would kind of be like chess. You would get to see what the other person is doing, but not understand what's going on in their head, uh, why they're doing it, which would kind of be kind of cool. I, I can't wait for multiplayer if they come out with that, though. Again, this is brought to you by Pix, uh, and it is still in beta version. So definitely, if you're interested, go check it out on their homepage. I have a link down below in the con er, in the, uh, the section uh, listing all the information. It is a free game, but you're more than welcome to donate. If you like the game, I strongly suggest you do just that. It helps the developer finish the game a little quicker, put idea or put things into the game that they normally would not have been able to afford to be able to put into the game, and it supports the people and the kind of games that you enjoy. So if you do enjoy not just this game, but any of the games you're playing, go ahead and support those guys. You'll see more games like it in the future. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next episode.